Oh, well, hello there. Welcome to another episode of Field Trips. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Robert Field. For those of you that do know me, welcome back. It's great to see you again. For those that are unfamiliar with the show, I ditched the corporate grind. Ditched the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. And so far, it has been an incredible journey, albeit a cramped journey. So I've been running around in a 28 foot toy hauler for the last two years almost, and it's just simply not enough space. So I've got a huge announcement to make. Hold the press. Well, I have upgraded the rig, upgraded Field Trips HQ to this bad boy. This is the Cougar 29 BHS by Keystone RV. This thing has been a tremendous upgrade for me. Now I've only been in it about a month, so I'm not quite settled in. Still got to figure out how to rig things up, how to organize things to get the most out of the space. But I'll tell you this, I am now swimming in storage space. Kayaking takes a lot of gear, fishing takes a lot of gear, and filming and sharing these experiences with you takes a lot of gear. And so I did not have enough room for all my stuff, but now I do. So I'm gonna give you guys a complete bow to stern walkthrough, if you will. We're gonna go over the entire rig. We'll start with the outside, then we're gonna head inside. Follow along. This is exciting. MTV Cribs RV style. We'll show you where the magic happens. That's a lie, there's actually no magic happening in here, but we'll show you where everything else happens. It's gonna be a good time, come along. Come along for the tour. All right, so one thing that I did have to get to handle this big new unit, hey yo, was a new truck. So this is my new 2017, it's new to me, it's not actually new, Chevy Silverado 2500 diesel. This thing is a beast. It's also my first diesel. I've been learning a lot about it, mostly the hard way, but this thing has been pulling the Keystone Cougar with no troubles, even though it weighs a lot more than my last unit. So because I do not have a toy hauler now, I've got a kind of regular travel trailer. I had to figure out, some of my neighbors, I had to figure out a way to store my kayak. So I turned to Yakima. In my opinion, they make the best transportation solutions. So I went with the Overhaul HD rack system from Yakima. This thing is rock solid, really, really solid aluminum construction. It's anodized. It's got a really cool finish. Feels and looks nice and rugged. All the welds, everything is super clean. It's even got a track system integrated into this so you can actually mount different accessories. There's a ton of accessories that come with this. Everything from helping you get your truck unstuck to tying more stuff down. They've got a sweet new rod box out, which I do not have yet, but that is on my list. I have been wildly impressed by this Yakima Overhaul HD rack system. It is incredible. I got two of the Lightning Kayak Strikes up top. This Yakima system is just <laughs> Let me Let me show you guys who keeps interrupting me real quick. Do y'all mind? Hey, I'm trying to make some movie magic over here. Do you mind? Huh? Huh? Get out of here now. <laughs> Pesky neighbors always talking out of turn. Relentless, those guys. So being new to diesel, I've learned a ton about diesel engines, mostly the hard way diesel exhaust fluid. I've learned that not every pump at a gas station has diesel. In fact, it turns out one out of 10 do, but it has been an adjustment, but my gas mileage has just gone through the roof. And through this process, I've been looking into other ways to make my diesel engine perform at its best to get the most out of my diesel. And something that I came across that I've been really happy with so far is this stuff right here. This is gum out, all-in-one diesel complete fuel system cleaner. Now I am not a car guy, I'm not a mechanic, I'm not good at this kind of stuff. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. I like catching fish, I like filming it, I like sharing that stuff with you guys. When it comes to cars and trucks, I am clueless. But this stuff came highly recommended from a friend. I checked out some reviews online, highly rated. This stuff gum out. What I love about it is that this is a way to get the most out of your diesel engine, get the most horsepower, get the most gas mileage to clean the system out entirely, and you can use it even if you don't know the first thing about engines, which happens to be the case with me. So this stuff's super easy to use. You literally just add it to your fuel. 
So when you fill up, you add some of this gum out, put it right there in your gas tank after you fill up, and this stuff is gonna go through and clean out your entire diesel engine system. And not just the pistons, the entire thing. So one bottle of this is 32 fluid ounces. That's gonna treat up to 80 gallons of fuel. So I'm gonna use a little bit less than half of a bottle, and this is gonna help me ensure that my rig is running at its optimum performance when I'm pulling my house down the highway. All right, so we're gonna start with the outside, like I said, and we'll start here at the bow, quote unquote. This is a regular travel trailer, so it's not a fifth wheel. It did not take up the bed of my truck. Now, that was something that was important to me because I have kayaks on top of the truck and this rack, I could not really use a fifth wheeler. The only way I could use a fifth wheeler was if I had a toy hauler where I could put the kayaks in the back. But I decided I want my kayaks to live on my truck so that at a moment's notice, I can launch and be in the water. And because of that, I needed a regular travel trailer hitch. And now this is about as big of a unit as you can find that still uses a regular hitch. You get much longer than this one at 34 feet and you're gonna start to only look at fifth wheels. It's got a power hitch right here with a light. It's also got some sway bars here. This is a load distribution hitch. So not only is that gonna reduce sway, it's also gonna make sure that you're kind of evenly leveled, pulling the load evenly. We've got pass-through storage right up here at the front. Now, one thing I really liked, uh, you're gonna, this is kind of a recurring theme with these Keystone units. There's a lot of these kind of just little things that make your life easier that, especially if you're gonna spend a lot of time in one of these things, is gonna make you a much happier camper. And one example of that is this right here. In previous models that I've looked at and seen and the one that I lived in, you pulled this up and you had to maybe have some kind of little mechanism, a latch, something like that. Keystone made it super simple, simple magnet up here, just pop it and it stays in place. Cannot say enough about that. I mean, it seems so simple, like who cares, but this is actually one of those things that if you're an RV owner, you know how nice that is. There's nothing to forget. A lot of times with these little latches, you forget and try to close it and break them off. It's probably the most common thing that breaks off on these travel trailers. So that right there is one example, you're about to hear a bunch of them, of how Keystone just did the little things right to make your life easier. The nice thing about this compared to my last one, my last front hatch area here was not passed through meaning that it, it, there was not a hatch on the other side. So it was only accessed from one side, so the stuff in the middle or the stuff in the back was impossible to get to. This one goes all the way through the unit. I can access stuff from that side, from this side. So here on this side, where the, kind of the door side, the front door side, I like to keep stuff for camping. So my chairs, I got a hammock stand in there. Everything I need to kind of make camp feel like home I keep on this side. On the other side is all my stuff for hitching. So I've got a rubber mallet in there, I've got wheel chocks, got all my tools, that sort of thing on the other side. And that's kind of the hitching side, the RV life side. And this right here is sort of the camping side with all the gear that I need to make camp feel like home. So moving back a little ways, they've got the kind of new style stairs. I would say all the quality travel trailer manufacturers have gone to these stairs where the old ones used to kind of hover and there was a lot of shake and bounce and a lot of play in them when you stepped on them. These are on the ground. They are rock solid. Cannot say enough about these steps. They feel great under your feet. Another thing that's really nice about this, now all these units these days have power awnings. One thing that Keystone has done, and I think this is like a patented new kind of system is not only is that controllable from inside, like they all are, but there's also a control panel right here on the outside. So if it's raining and I wanna put the awning out real quick, I don't have to go in there soaking wet, get my trailer all dirty. I can just stay out here and pull the awning out right here by hand. All right, so moving back down the unit, got a couple vents, got a couple outdoor speakers, super nice. I'll show you the entertainment system inside later. You can control whether it's playing outside, inside, or both. Cable TV hookups, which I don't watch cable. I, don't, I haven't owned a TV in seven years until now. I'll show you that in a second. Got some outside power, everything you're gonna need. Now here's one thing that was really nice that really sold me on this unit. I like to hang out outside. That's kind of the whole point of this, if you ask me. And one thing that I really was missing in the last unit was an outdoor kitchen. So if we open this up, you see right here, we got a little mini fridge. Got some shiners and some Coke Zeros, whatever you're into. Nice storage space out here. This is gonna be great for all my grilling tools, which are here now. I got seasonings, that kind of stuff will go in there. Again, I'm not kind of set up yet. And then this is super nice, a slide out outdoor grill right here built into the unit, runs off the propane system that is built into the unit. Super nice, especially for cooking fresh fish, which who doesn't love to eat fresh fish? Great way to cook fish. I don't like to cook fish inside whenever I can help it because one thing about these RVs, smells tend to accumulate pretty quickly. So it's a small space. 
If you're in there cooking fish, your place is gonna smell like fish for the next couple weeks. But I can cook it outside, keep my inside smelling fresh. Right here, we've got a little utility shower. This is basically a little outdoor shower. That's money for rinsing off my gear. That's what I use that for pretty much exclusively. Maybe rinsing off like my flip-flops or something before I go inside. But mostly I'm using that to rinse off my gear, especially when I'm fishing salt water. So rods, reels, whatever you need, you can rinse it off right here on the outside without stepping inside, taking your dirty gear all inside. Another thing that's really nice about this unit is that it has a second door. This one goes right into the bathroom. So if I'm hanging out with a bunch of friends and it's muddy or the ground's dirty or whatever, and I don't want people trudging through my unit, then go right here into the back door, use the restroom without dirtying up my place. Moving here to the back of the unit. Now this is something that is invaluable for me. And now for certain people, this may or may not be a, a huge added value, but to me, this was huge. And this may make a little bit more sense when we get inside, but basically there's a back access door. Having this access door is key. And now while this is normally a two bunk system, which is perfect if you got kids or just more friends than I do, but I converted this to gear storage. So right here in this back access hatch, I've got all the gear I need to kayak and fish and film and everything I, I need to do is right here. And what's cool about that is whenever I'm going fishing, I can back the truck right up to the back of my unit and easily transfer all the gear I need to go kayak fishing from the back inside into my truck bed. And that way I don't have to keep my gear inside my truck at all times like I used to do. It's got a built-in ladder for getting on the roof. And on this side, it's pretty standard, pretty simple. So this is a 50 amp rig instead of a 30 amp like I used to have. That's because I have two ACs. We'll touch on that here in a bit. Over here, we got the docking station where you would connect your hoses. When you do the connector, it's lefty tidy. Little known fact, it's lefty tidy. We've also got a Furion solar charger port. It is solar ready. If you got a solar panel, if you want to get one, you can set it outside, charge the unit right here from this outside port. And again, there's all my rigging stuff. And another thing, again, talking about how Keystone just kind of does the little things right. Uh, my last unit, I had to manually lower all my stabilizer jacks. There's basically four jacks, one in each corner that go down to stabilize the unit so it doesn't rock while you're inside of it. Keystone just thought of everything. That was a huge pain in the whole unhitching, hitching process. Theirs are automatic. So a couple buttons in here, press those and the jacks are gonna lower on their own press them the other way and they're gonna come back up. Saves me a ton of time, especially somewhere like here in Texas with the Texas heat. It's nice not to sit out here and hand crank these stabilizers down. But that's pretty much it from the outside. But let's go check out the inside and I'll show you where this upgrade really starts to make a difference. And welcome to Field Trips HQ to my humble abode. This thing is so sweet. First off, I'll start right here at the in-command system. I don't even know what they call this thing, but all I know is it's got a touch screen. <laughs> My last unit had nothing like this. This thing is awesome. From right here, I can control the interior lights off and on, the water heater, the water pump. I can check battery levels. I can check all my tank levels. This is how I control the slide, the two ACs, and all sorts of stuff. And what's also cool about this in-command system is that this actually links to my phone. I have an app on my phone, the in-command app. And so from my phone, I can control the lights, the slide, the water pump, all the things that I need to do with the RV, I can do with my phone. So I don't even have to get up and play with this fancy touchscreen. Here's the kitchen much more spacious, so much more counter space than I had before. It kind of comes out in this sort of pseudo island, I guess a peninsula, if you will. It's got a really, really spacious sink with two covers on it. You can use this as a cutting board or more counter space. Cover up the sink if you want to. It's got two sides to the sink. That's something I didn't have before, which is really nice. Keep dirty dishes in one, keep the other one open for whatever I need. Like most of these units, it's got a kind of pull down, movable kitchen sink faucet. It's got two modes on that. I've got a full kitchen. Everyone acts like I'm out here roughing it, camping with, with the fire, you know. That's not how I cook in this thing. I've got a three burner stove, covers all my needs. I've got a small oven, which is about the nicest oven I've ever seen in one of these units. Also got a microwave. So pretty much in terms of cooking, I got everything I need. Stove top, oven, microwave, and an outdoor grill. Like good to go, turnkey, don't need anything else. Moving over here, fridge. Freezer, all the necessities that you need. Freezer is stocked full. Fridge, so-so. I'm actually kind of in between a couple trips. But what I love about this fridge and freezer, by Dometic, 
the brand, if you ask me, and it runs on propane. So when I'm driving down the road from one spot to another, or if I just have to unplug for whatever reason, or if the power goes out, whatever the case may be, the fridge is gonna stay cold, the freezer is gonna stay cold, and run off my propane, and that's automatic. I don't have to come change anything. If the power cuts out for some reason, the propane kicks in and keeps my stuff cold. Now I touched on this earlier, I have not owned a TV in probably seven years. I just decided at some point that there are better uses of my time than watching the latest American Idol rerun or whatever you're into. But this unit comes with a sizable TV. I don't even know how big this is. I don't know TV speak 48 inches maybe, I don't know. Giant TV. So if you're in a TV, if you like watching TV like most humans do, it comes with a unit, a really nice one. This also is on a kind of swiveling bracket. So you can move this out, move the direction to it, pull it all the way out to here, move it around. So if I'm sitting over there or wherever I'm at, I can watch TV no matter the angle. And behind here, and we'll kind of segue into this now, is some storage. So as I mentioned, storage is kind of the name of the game with this Cougar 29BHS by Keystone. That's why I went with this unit. You can see right here behind the TV is a ton of hidden storage. I use this as kind of my electronic station, so I've got all my cameras in here, my charging hub, uh, tons of cords and cables, as you can see. I actually just got back from a trip, so none of this is organized. Normally it looks a, little, a lot more organized than this, but got a couple action hats here. Basically everything that I need to film the show and share it with you guys lives back here and charges back here. So what's really nice about that is I can throw all my stuff in there on charge and then if I have people over or whatever, I can move the TV back in place and you never know that it's there. All right, so moving back here towards the back of the unit, again, more storage up here above the TV, all kinds of stuff I keep up here. There's also storage down here beneath the TV. I keep my fan in there and some Night Eyes stuff. Tons and tons of storage, y'all. Now over here, this is what makes the 29BHS so versatile. So if you are a family with one or two kids, this unit is the one. Like you can just stop now, go place your order. So originally up here and down here were two bunks, two bunk beds. That's what this is designed to be. What I did since I am about two kids short of having two kids, I converted this bottom section to be gear storage. And again, storage, you're gonna hear me keep saying it. Storage is what I love about this thing. This changed everything and now it's a mess right now. You would think like I'm filming a walkthrough of my rig, I would have like done some housekeeping before but I actually just got in town this morning. So it's a mess, but take my word for it, you can store a ton of stuff down here in this bottom bunk. So I took the mattress out, all of my kayaking gear, all of my fishing gear, rods, lures, tackle, everything lives right back here. And the best part is that this is accessible from that outside hatch that I just showed you guys. So on this half of this bottom storage, I keep my clothes here. I keep kind of the stuff that I need on the inside. And that back half and that side of this whole inner compartment is accessible from the outside and that's where I keep my kayaking gear that I could throw right in the bed of my truck. And what's lovely about this is that even though I've kind of gotten rid of one of these bunks, one sleeping area, I keep the top completely free. So up here I've got some bedding for anyone that comes to stay over. Brooks Beatty, who helped me shoot all the B-roll that you're seeing right now on this video, he stayed up there for 11 days, Brooks? too long, he would probably say. <laughs> a really versatile space here. Again, if, you, if you're into some kind of hobby, you need a lot of gear, this is gonna be like the ultimate rig at this size. You will not find this much storage in a rig shorter than 40 feet. I would just about bet my life on it. So tons of storage down here or a second bunk. If you got two kids or you got, again, more friends than I do, plenty of sleeping room in this place. And that's not all the sleeping room. We'll get to that here in a sec. All right, and so this kind of mystery door that was here behind me uh, is not just for hat storage, although apparently I've got a lot of hats. Uh, and coincidentally, this right here is a lure that was made for me by Lucas Rael, super cool kid that I met at an event in California. This right here is a fly that Tom Rosenbauer tied for me when I was in Vermont. But inside this door, behind magic door number one, is the bathroom. So in here, nothing too crazy, but we got a sink, pretty necessary. We've got Robert Field in the mirror in this medicine cabinet. 
open up this medicine cabinet. Tons of room for all your uh, medicinal needs. Over here we've got the shower, which is a large shower for one of these units. My last one was kind of a quarter circle deal, was not very big. This is a full rectangular tub and shower, and obviously a toilet. There's also some storage down here. And there's that second door that I was talking about earlier. All right, and over here, got some theater style seating. I believe this could also be a couch that pulls out, but I opted for that number right there. A little bit of uh, relaxation, super comfortable chairs. They recline magnificently. Got a couple cup holders right here, and I'm quite literally instantly fighting the desire to go to sleep. So I'm gonna get up. Well, I'm still awake, we all good, don't worry. And so over here, I got a little dinette table with a couple facing each other couches. This shows you I've never worked at a furniture store. I don't know what you call this. All I know is there's a dinette table here and this is where not only do I eat my meals, but this more importantly is where I edit the show, including what you're watching right this second. I edited it right here on this laptop, on this table. Super nice, really comfortable. I love having some kind of workstation. That's like imperative to me. I gotta have a desk of sorts. And for me, this right here was perfect. And if you notice, this entire thing, this stadium seating, this dinette section, whatever you call, is in the slide out. So that was a huge, huge change from my last unit. I would highly, highly, highly recommend a slide out. It has changed just the whole feel of my house where my house used to start right here and went over. Now suddenly this just opens it up so much. I really can't say enough about just, just, just the feel, like just my energy in here, having a little room to work with. The slide out was the best investment change I've ever made. It has just been delightful. I got a couple of pieces of art here that I'm working on framing, figuring out where to put them. Alexis Murphy painted me this stay trippin rooster fish so cool this girl is just wildly talented for how young she is and then ray gentry came to panama and his wife is an artist and she painted this incredible incredible rooster fish painting if you guys want to get some paintings done uh for anything i cannot recommend this gal enough i'll put a link down in the description check her out you'll see more of that in the panama series but anyways i digress here in the kitchen, we've got even more storage. Down here beneath the sink, there is a huge, huge compartment down here. This is where I keep all my kind of cleaning supplies. Over here, underneath the kitchen peninsula, a term that I am now coining, got three drawers. Again, I mean, just like these are the little things, the storage space that I did not have before. There's also outlets under here. Down here by the front door, under this same peninsula, you can see even more storage, some really deep drawers. Let's me store a lot of stuff and it's right here by the front door, which is super convenient. Uh, you can see here, I got one of these uh, night eyes flashlights mounted to the wall, plugged in right here. These outlets down here are super handy right here by the front door. Got a couple of USB outlets. Just really nice to have that right by where I'm going in and out all day, every day. Down here, I've got this automatic trash can that doesn't work. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the list of gear that talked a big game and does not do what it's supposed to do. And here we've got a full size pantry. And now this is huge as a full-time RVer, or if you're planning on doing some extended trips more than a week, let's say, having an actual pantry is invaluable. Most of these units at this size have the tiniest of pantries or no pantry. And you kind of got to store your food down like beneath the sink and stuff. This unit has a truly full pantry. Keep my pots and pans up here, hanging with a couple of night eyes gear ties, everything I need, seasonings, oils, spatulas, cutting boards, all that sort of stuff. And then food down here. One thing that's really cool is that this light in here is automatic, it's motion activated. So even if I have the door open, when I walk up here and need to grab something, the light automatically turns on again. There's the same sort of thing right here over my front door. And those are the little things that Keystone really just does to make this thing above and beyond. It's, it's, they sound so trivial even as I say them now, but when you're living in this thing day in and day out, these little things make a huge difference. Uh, one thing that RV life has taught me is how to conserve space, get the most out of my space. I've got a shoe rack, my shoes hanging in the pantry. 
where everyone keeps them, I would, I would assume. This thing came with a coat rack built in. Over here, I installed a little key ring and, oh, filters the rubber field, 100,000 subscribers, I don't, I don't even know. Didn't even come with the unit. So this is my bedroom. It's got a king size bed, storage up above the bed. Got a couple of uh, little storage places for clothes to hang clothes up on either side. It's got plenty of charging outlets on both sides of the bed, a couple AC and a couple USB chargers. You'll notice I have a memory foam mattress topper on here that I, I don't have cut to size. I don't even have sheets. I'm, I'm embarrassed, I'm embarrassed. Yeah, not quite moved in yet, but one thing to note is that an RV king or an RV queen is not the same dimensions as a king or queen. They're a little bit shorter. So uh, anyway, I got a king size mattress topper. No RV comes with a super nice mattress. You're probably gonna wanna get a memory foam topper or your own mattress, but uh, I like to go with the memory foam topper option and I just gotta cut this thing to size now because it is king size and these RV kings are a little bit different. But uh, one thing that's nice, I got storage under the bed, much like my last unit, but again, talking about Keystone doing the little things where my old unit, this is gonna sound so silly, but it was such a pain. To access my inside storage under my bed, I had to lift up on this thing I'm about to show you and then hold it up, prop it up with my shoulder while I got stuff out because there's nothing to hold it up. Keystone just did the logical thing. A little bit of a lift. It's hydraulically lifted, hydraulics built into this thing. I mean, these are the things that Keystone really does right. Under the bed storage, I don't have to hold this up. I can just get my stuff comfortably. It sounds like duh, but most of these brands are not doing that. Keystone is doing it right. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for your tour of the new Field Trips HQ, the 2020 Cougar 29 BHS by Keystone RV, I could not be happier with my decision to upgrade to this thing. Uh, but you guys will be seeing a lot more of this. Obviously, it'll start showing up in every single episode. I'm also, if you remember, I had my last one wrapped. I'm working on a wrap for this one, so don't worry. That will be coming soon. But all in all, I could not be happier with my new home on wheels. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Please comment below, let me know what you think about the rig, any questions that you have about RV life, any other questions you have about this unit in particular, I would love to answer them. Expect a video in the next two to three months, we'll go a little bit more in depth of the rig after I've had a chance to kind of rig it out, uh, make some modifications to increase storage or whatever else I need. So look for that coming soon. Also comment below if you'd like to see more RV life type stuff, I get mixed opinions, so let me know if you don't just want to see me fishing. If you'd like to see what it's like living in an RV full time, please comment below any questions you got. I would love to hear from you. I reply to every single one, so expect a response. But that's all the time I got for tonight, mostly because it is now night and I got to get some work done. But thanks so much. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching the show. I cannot tell you how much it means to me. I hope you dig it. I've been enjoying the journey. Next year, I'll be heading up through the entire Great Lakes, the entire Midwest part of the country. If you want to go fishing, comment below. Let me know where you live, what you fish for, and why I should come meet up with you. And maybe we'll make it happen. But for now, that's all I've got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in to Field Trips, and I will catch you next week.